So welcome back. Before we begin, you need a USB thumb drive or gig 8 gig. You need to download the files below a description box. We're gonna use this program called Balena Etcher. This is how you create a bootable USB jailbreak USB. So you select your USB. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my 32 gig USB drive here go and look for your downloaded image file here these two these two files I'm gonna use the 64 bit ISO image file so just open it and then click flash now it's finished uh, remove your USB and then boot to your BIOS to do that you just have to google it and search for your uh, windows machi machine on how to boot into the BIOS so as you can see I'm gonna boot inside my BIOS I'm using a laptop Asus laptop there enter setup we need to change some settings first before we proceed just adjust my camera there. So you need to go to the bias setup and change some settings. Go to advanced internal pointing device should be enabled. Wake up on lead should be disabled. Follow along. Power of save energy saving is disabled. Intel virtualization is enabled. Intel ASNI is enabled. SATA config should be AHCI. Smart settings should be disabled. Network stack disabled. Uh, legacy support uh, auto. AXHCI preboot mode smart auto and usb mass storage should be enabled uh, do not, uh, the fast boot should be disabled launch csm disabled also go to security and disable secure boot there plug in your usb It for a few seconds there and then save and exit now we should boot to the boot menu I'm gonna use my escape key see this is my USB device I'm gonna boot up now wait for the codes to finish booting now this is the jailbreak part all you have to do is get your iPhone device and plug it in running 13.4 go to options then enable this verbose boot go back and as you can see my 6s is currently on activation screen let's put it here can see there hello screen there it's on activation lock so we need to jailbreak this first before we 
can bypass the iCloud. So let's go back. Now we we hit on start. Next, and it will enter recovery mode. follow along uh, press and hold click the start and then number two is press and hold the slide and the side and home button together for four seconds so let's hit start one two three four keep on holding the home button and it will enter the FU mode release the home button and wait for it to finish booting there the codes will run wait for it to finish and then it will go back to the activation screen there still on iCloud lock Now I have a USB, USB MUX error because I have recently jailbroken this device and I have bypassed the activation lock but I'm gonna do it again. So next is we have, we have to bypass the iCloud lock. Download the file below and here I'm gonna use the 64 bit and then run as administrator this file there this one run as admin run as administrator close this one and then as you can see I have a iOS 13.4 this one so I'm gonna click this one with fix sync iTunes just click this one and then wait for it to finish Oh, you have to connect your iPhone first. There, and then click. The program will run and then wait for it to finish. There it says iCloud bypass done. There. Click OK and then go back to your iPhone device. Let's fix this. Then if I hit back, it will redirect me to my home screen. Because I have recently jailbroken this one. But if you haven't, it will bring you to the setup setup screen. So let's install the Cydia. They're installing Cydia. As you can see, Cydia is installed. We need to upgrade this one. Go to changes and then upgrade. Complete upgrade. Confirm. Restart Springboard. There. 
then go to your Cydia and we need to install the save shutdown tweak first you need to add this add this repo it's pol mirror dot com then add source I have it already so no need to do that then go and search for safe shutdown oops we need the crack one so go back to your repo then refresh there's you're gonna search it again save shut down crack there the crack version then install confirm oops you're gonna confirm then restart springboard There we have to enable the tweak go to your settings scroll down and open safe shutdown go to shut shutdown settings and enable hold lock instead go back and power down menu scroll down and this way disable power off reboot safe mode ld restart ui cache and then be sure to enable it. Respring. Now we're gonna test it. If we can safely turn this device off. Safe shutdown. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. And let's power back it on. As you can see there's an icon then we're back you can try and download the apps be sure to log in your Apple ID via the App Store app not inside settings So let's search. Let's try Google Drive. as you can see Google Drive is now installed in the YouTube studio so if you like the video hit the thumbs up subscribe and share the video Ooh.